What's up everyone? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today I am going to be doing a reaction to the new Joker trailer. Now, just a little bit before we start the trailer, I have talked before about how Batman is my favorite superhero, and he has been my favorite superhero since I was a young child. Now, just learning about Batman and how he didn't have any superpowers, he just had a traumatic thing happen to him when he was a child, and he used his money, his intelligence, and his detective skills to become the most badass superhero in existence in the DC universe and he doesn't have any superheroes but he's you know such a vital character in the DC universe that it just is absolutely amazing that he's just a man and he's a able to do these incredible things. And I've said this before, a hero is only as strong as their villain. Now, in this world of fantastical superheroes and you have fantastical villains, I feel like Batman's villains are the most vile. And when you watch them, because of their intensity and their wickedness, you can say, I feel like it enhances Bruce Wayne's character because he has to go up against crazies like the Joker, like Poison Ivy, like Selina Kyle, who is Catwoman, like the Penguin, like Scarecrow, like Bane, like Ra's al Ghul. You have characters like that, and then you have Batman coming into play. The dynamic is just so intense and intriguing, and to watch this guy, who's just a man, be a superhero and do all these incredible things, he has to rise to the occasion because he has, you know, some of the most vilest villains ever created, and I think that is absolutely amazing and that's why I love Batman so much and at the end of the day he's still a good guy and he's just fighting for justice so when I heard about this Joker movie like most people I kind of grew up with Batman the animated series so I'm used to Mark Hamill voicing the Joker and him being you know all goofy and crazy and then of course I had the Christopher Nolan Joker the Heath Ledger Joker and I I feel like that is a worldwide kind of agreement that that is the best portrayal of the Joker that we've ever gotten and that we probably will get. So when I heard that they're coming out with the Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix, I was like, okay, well, you know, he really creeped me out in Gladiator. Like, that was uh, just kind of scarring to watch this d creepy dude creeping on his sister and being like a complete psychopath as, you know, the Roman Emperor. So... I was like, alright, that, that makes kind of sense. He already has his scar, so maybe they're going to use that to play up the character. Maybe he can relate to the character on, an, on a different level that Heath Ledger wasn't able to because, you know, he's actually lived his entire life with, you know, a pretty obvious scar on his face. And I feel like, so, you know, maybe he can do a good job. Maybe, and I've heard great things about this trailer. I have done so much to try to avoid spoilers, but I've seen images and I've seen everyone say that this trailer is amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the director, I liked his Hangover, like the first Hangover movie was great, but I mean, I, I'm not too familiar outside of the Hangover movies with the rest of the work. And I know that this Joker movie is supposed to be outside of the DCEU and it's supposed to go on like a different route and it's gonna be other movies that aren't related to even though they're DC they're not related to the DCEU at least that's what I've heard that's what I've seen in my research but I really want to watch this I know I've been talking a little bit uh, more than usual so let's get into this so I am really really excited Arthur does it help to have someone to talk to My mother always tells me to smile and put on a happy face. She told me I had a purpose. To bring laughter and joy to the world. Hey, stop them! What the hell? Is it just me? Or is it getting crazier out there? Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. What? If you smile <laughs> to your fear and sorrow, smile. Maybe tomorrow you'll find that life is still worthwhile. If you 
What's so funny? Just... Freak! <laughs> Gotham has lost its way. What kind of coward would do something that cold-blooded? Someone who hides behind a mask. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. But now I realize it's a comedy. If you just smile. I'm dead. Oh, cool. Okay, so let's pause that. Oh. Arthur. Ah, uh, I feel so bad for him. Oh, poor guy. Oh, that made me want to cry. Like, the part where... Like, this... Where they, let me scroll through. Like, the part where they steal his sign? Like, oh my god. Like, just look at that man. Just completely defeated. So, I saw that this was supposed to be, like, a psychological thriller. Which it looks... It, I mean... That's exactly what this type of movie looks like. It, we're gonna get to see the Joker and how he became to what it is. And... Or who he is. And... Uh, that breaks my heart. You know, because, I mean... You can see that this guy, he doesn't have the best life. He's got some problems. And I get innocent... Batman became Batman because shit happened in his life. That's exactly what this is. But I think that's one of the most interesting things about a hero's journey. Is, you know, you have the you know, setting, then you have the hero, stuff happens, they get to that, you know, the rising action, you get to that climax, you're either going to go one way or the other way. You're either going to go to the light side of the force or the dark side of the force. We see, you know, characters like Batman, like Luke Skywalker, they choose to go to the light side. Then we have characters like Anakin, like the Joker, where stuff happens, they're going on their journey, and they go off to the other side. But, and I've said this before in other videos, that when it comes down to villains, I don't think villains think that they are being evil. This just shows more so what the Joker that we've seen before. The Joker, I mean, maybe they think that they're a bad guy, but at the end of the day, they have a goal. They have a mission. They want to accomplish something. What it shows in this trailer is that Look at what happened to him. He had just had a job. He's just taking care of his mother. He's just playing the cards that life dealt him. And it's not working. And because of that, it's made him take, you know, action, or, you know, justice into his own hands. Much like what Batman was doing. But it's the exact opposite. And the Joker, you know, believes in chaos. I, at least that's what we've seen in all of other renditions of his character and in the comic books. So maybe he thinks we're going to see him realize why the justice system doesn't work and chaos is better because justice doesn't work i mean look he was in the middle of a crowded city and p people walking by watched him just just look if i can get back to this look at there's other people here there he's surrounded by other people i can get, look at He's not the only one. There he is. All these people around him. And then you have that group of jerks that come and steal his sign. Nobody helped him. He's surrounded by people and not a single person helped him. Then he went into the alley and like, just this, like, that breaks my heart. Like, and this is the bad guy. This is the Joker. This is the guy that has no, you know, remorse for killing people. And I feel horrible for him. No wonder he got to where he is. Look at what, you know, life dealt him. He's just taking care of his mother. He's just trying to live his best life. And he got treated badly. And it breaks my heart. I think that this is going to be a good movie. It's just going to be a very hard movie to watch because I get really emotional when I see stuff like that and, you know, people getting hurt for no reason and people not standing up for everyone. And I think that when Batman, you know, at least when I, you watch The Dark Knight and when he's really remorseful over not being able to save Harvey, who turned into Two-Face, who was, you know, at least in the comics and in the animated series, they had a very different relationship than in uh, Nolan's rendition of the movies. So, 
from what I knew of Two-Face and Harvey, I always knew, though, you know, he was Batman's best friend, and then, you know, stuff happened, and he turned into Two-Face. At least it was, it was different in the animated series and the comics than in Nolan's version, but it just breaks your heart that, you know, people aren't there, and you, not everyone can be saved, and that's why, you know, people go on other paths, just kind of like how in Star Wars, how when we have the scene with Obi-Wan and Anakin, and Obi-Wan just like, Anakin, I failed you, I failed you, I was supposed to be there for you, I was supposed to be your teacher, and I failed you, and you went to the dark side, you became Darth Vader, and this is gonna be, you know, hard to watch, I feel like, in a way, kind of how we have the Revenge of the Sith, and how we get to see Anakin become Darth Vader, and so we're gonna get to see this man become the Joker, and it's, it already looks, just from this trailer, like it's going to be a very, very good movie. It's, it's just, you know, I mean, it was hard not to cry watching this, and like, just looking at this image, it's, it's breaking my heart, but you can see how this guy, he's not exactly right in the head, at least, like, like, oh my god, this... I couldn't even, how do you stand there, like, with a straight face, and, like, it, you can just see, like, how confide he is, look at that expression on his face, like, and he's so uncomfortable, you can see his hands and fists, like, oh my god, and then these two, they're just acting like nothing's wrong, and if you, I lived in San Francisco for five years when I was in college, and this is, it's, it's very uncomfortable because you see homeless people like just tweaking out, going crazy. They're doing drugs on the sidewalk. You know, they're, it, it's disgusting. And you see people, you know, just freaking out like this. And I mean, it was just the norm to just walk by and ignore them, but it's so uncomfortable and you feel like just you're surrounded by buildings and it's just, you're confined in the craziness and you're just trying to make it through. I know exactly what this feels like. This, the, and it, ah. Uh. This is going to be a very difficult movie for me to watch because of, like, I mean, ah, uh, and it comes out in October, which, uh, my birth month, everyone, so I, I will be seeing this movie. It's just going to be, you know, painful and hard because my heart is going out to him, and I, I know he's the villain, but it's, it's painful to watch any human go through this kind of stuff. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and get it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too. And let me know what you guys thought of this trailer in the comments below. Let me know if I missed anything that you guys want me to talk about. And everyone, have a great rest of your day. Fingers crossed it's better than his. And may the force be with you because we are really, really going to need it. Bye. Hey everyone, I finally got a P.O. box, so if you want to send me some mail, go ahead and send it to Anna, that Star Wars girl, or TSWG for short, at P.O. box number 28171, Santa Ana, California, 92799-8171. Thank you, have a great day, guys.